Let's make sure we're live. Cool. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today is November 30th. It's the end of the month and we're doing an unscheduled live stream. I have a few free eBay listings that we can do on eBay. Uh, and today's the last day I can take uh, advantage of that. And I promised some people that I was going to list some comic books. Some people have been um, buying comic books off my eBay site, uh, eBay page. And uh, they bought a whole bunch and I've shipped them all out and stuff. So there's a couple of people that contacted me saying, uh, asking me if I was going to list any more comics. And I promised them to list more this month. But we've been caught up with a lot of uh, the news cycle and whatnot. So... I didn't get a chance uh, to start listing them until today. We're doing a lot of Julian Assange uh, streams and stuff. I wanted to get that stuff out the door. Um, but we're going to list a few today, as much as we can. Okay. Um, I do have some of the mermaid stuff already listed on the, on the site and, you know, two or three other books that aren't mermaid related. Uh, but I do want to list some newer books that uh, that I haven't listed yet. Uh, just because uh, I want to make sure that uh, people that are, uh, you know, buying the comic books and stuff or placing bids, uh, they have, like, you know, some kind of variety to choose from, right? I was actually going to dig into, dig further into my, uh, uh, my collection, my boxes, but again, I haven't got a chance uh, to do. Um, so what we're going to do is just basically chill here, open discussion. Uh, and uh, if you guys got wanna talk about anything, we can talk about it. But uh, first, main focus is going to be listing comics. Let's go first. Stream. Hello from New Zealand. Hello, Quinn. How are you doing from New Zealand? I actually shipped com some comic books to New Zealand. Uh, we had one person buy a whole bunch of comic books, and uh, ended up shipping it from Canada to New Zealand holy camoles it cost a lot of money to ship from Canada to New Zealand just straight up with the you know it wasn't even airfare it was just going with the boat it cost a lot it cost a lot uh, and the person told me that uh, uh, they wanted to buy a bunch of comic books uh, because it's hard to get people get their hands on comic books in New Zealand not as abundant as it is here in Canada or, or United States is way more right um, and usually the shipping costs way too much or people refuse to ship there so he ended up buying a whole bunch of stuff and put it together it wasn't even that big of a box uh, but we sort of maxed out the weight limit on it and sent it off as far as listing comics for today let's do some newer comics okay um i haven't graded these yet Oh, you know what? I have a bunch of... Uh, what I'm going to do is list uh, here. We're going to list for sure these two guys. Okay. Venom number three. Okay. And Venom number four by Don Gates. Kate. Okay. And these are the first appearances of uh, the symbiote god. So let me put these here for now. But there are some books. Let me get these guys out first. So we can go through at least one cycle of, uh, where is this guy? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put these guys here. Yeah, it's always a pain buying things uh, from overseas. Yeah, I can imagine. Wow, wow, wow. Dante, how are you doing? Top fiver, you Joe Paul as well. Doing good, top fiver. Hope you guys are doing well. Having a nice Saturday. Um, here, let me show you. Where's my spawn stuff? Oh man, I played it here. Where'd they go? There it is. Okay, these are the first. Hope everyone had a relaxing holiday. Oh yeah, hope you guys have a lot of turkey to eat still. Or you Americans anyway. Uh, the first one, I, first ones I want to list is uh, just a lot. Uh, 
Uh, let me bring this up. Because I've already graded these, so might as well go through one iteration. Spawn number eight. Spawn number seven. Okay. Here, let me put it here so it doesn't get in the way of. Spawn number seven. Oh, come on. Serious reflection. Yeah, I'm in school holiday for eight weeks. Eight weeks. Nice. Oh, yeah, you guys are f summer mode right now. That's right. It's New Zealand summer. Spawn number six. And spawn number five. The person uh, from New Zealand, he actually wanted to get spawn number five, he, spawn number one to eight, right? And uh, the shipping was going to be a little bit too much and it was he was tight on his budget and, uh, and whatnot. So he ended up actually buying spawn one to four and this is spawn one uh five to eight from that lot it's so hot at least for new zealand cool. and these are here let me tell you what i graded these as so spawn number five i graded at uh, 9.4 9.6 okay spawn number six i've graded at uh, 9.4 9.6 and Spawn number seven, I graded at 9.2, 9.4. And spawn number eight, graded at 9.6. Okay. And we ended up getting one of the comic books that, that we listed, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number uh, 361, uh, that someone bought. Uh, they ended up, I ended up shipping it to them. They ended up sending up to CGC being graded. And what they did was uh, they sent it back to me, CGC graded as a gift, and I had graded it at 9.4. And CGC came back as 9.6. So that's pretty sweet. That's very sweet. Let me see. What do I got here? I'm trying to find the pictures that I took of this just to. Oh, here's spawn number eight. Wait a second. Oh, these aren't the ones. Hmm. Where is? Oh, you know what? I probably didn't take a picture of these. I just graded them. I didn't take a picture. So what we're going to do is just going to take pictures of these. Okay. I got to crank them out. It might be a little bit on the noisier side today. Okay, just because I'm going to move around a little bit. We're going to try to list um, at least like five new comic books, right? Um, I promised people that I was going to get these up and I just haven't been able to. That was awesome of him to send that comic in. I really like the Carnage reading as well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, cup tree, cup tree, cup tree, cup tree. Uh, it was amazing. I was not expecting, right? And uh, man, that kind of stuff, you know, it keeps you going in a big way when you just do, right? I, you know, when I started this whole thing doing comic book readings and all this stuff, I didn't expect to. Uh, for things to kick up to this level the mathematics is my main gig right it's it's what i thrive on my purpose really to just try to get as many people to love mathematics and learn mathematics as possible and everything else with the comic books and stuff like this is just extra that i was doing because i love sharing this stuff uh but it's amazing when you see what you're doing being loved that much where the love is coming back right it's absolutely brilliant so i can load on uh 12 uh pictures 12 pictures i'm pretty sure 12 pictures let me make sure i can load on 
One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we can load on twelve pictures. So we got four books here. So I can take three pictures from each book, right? Two pictures. You know what? We're just gonna take two pictures from each book. And the front and the back. Okay. That's what our plan is. Because I'm just going to put the grade on them in the description. So this one we graded at 9.6. Okay. That's phone number eight. Here's phone number seven. This one is greater than 9.2, 9.4. Yeah, man, I think I found you from the relaxing math maze, and now I'm, and now I know my, I know way more about comics too. Looked up some EC the other day, and I couldn't believe how pricey they were. Yeah, they've kicked up in price a lot. When was the first time we put out comic books um, videos? We put them out, I think, in 2014, maybe 2015. And back then, like prices comics have gone up a lot in the last three, five years or so. Uh, back then, the prices on EC books were about half of what they are now as well. Like back then, you could still get your hands on fairly reasonable stuff. Uh, but man, the prices kicked up fast. And some of the ones that are controversial, the the hanging man and uh, the bondage stuff, they're going up into the thousands now, right? If I was only focused on one era, uh, I would have been buying EC Comics up the yin yang, but I like all all uh, all types of comics right so i distribute right the one with the hanging uh for ec comics i forget what no what number it is uh, or what series as well it's it's crazy expenses. I would love to get my hands on that. Uh, 
I actually have a spawn number one I should be listing too with these, but we do it next week or something. Right, this one is spawn number five. set on these ones interacting with the recent boom i like the stories more in the ec sci-fi yeah big time big time some of those things are absolutely amazing been lurking for years have you <laughs> okay you guys gonna hear a little thrilling because i'm uh, plugging in this uh, my camera my phone right so let's check it out come on how come it's not recognizing it should recognize it okay i'm taking the notes Okay, let's try it again. Six, eight. So let's bring these guys over. The time flies, like really time flies. I got uh, three drinks here right now. I got my tea. I'm a teaholic. I have some water, and this one is uh, a coffee. I don't usually drink coffee, but I'm craving coffee right now. And it was made, it was ready. It's very foamy, it's very creamy. It's got the, it's like got coconut milk in it, or coconut uh, uh, butter in it, uh, and uh, some other things. fruffy it's like it's like dessert liquid dessert i have a sweet tooth it's delicious it's delicious so let's go list comic books let's see unfortunately ebay silly ebay right stuff you listed it doesn't keep it for an extended period of time so you have to regenerate it if you're gonna if you're gonna create list an item okay let's see create a listing spawn number five to number eight i gotta open up oh god it's not even finding it this is called spawn number eight Hopefully I'll find it. 
Okay, I gotta open up a comic book thing. I gotta grab the info from it. Spawn number eight. So let's make sure number five. So spawn number eight came out in. Uh, came out in 1992 yeah so it all came out in 1992 I just want to make sure they're in the same year and spawn number eight is 93 and spawn number seven in 1993 that's what it is so spawn number four and Number five came out in 1992. Number six is 1992, but number seven, nine, number eight is uh, 1993. Okay, so we got to get the dates right. Legendary Rob Boss. Nice. How much sugar did you add to it? I didn't add any sugar. I added honey. <laughs> I added a, I added a tablespoon of honey okay a uh, tablespoon of sort of crystallized honey a little bit really organic nice local uh just filtered ones you get a little bee parts we did videos of honey that honey in here so it's pretty nice and sweet speaking of sugar just had another piece of pumpkin pie hope you're doing well sure doing well riot hope you're enjoying the pumpkin pie do you have any whipped cream by the side would be nice to see computer uh, see computer image on the thing I haven't set it up that way the problem I'm the reason I'm not uh, doing all the stuff for eBay because some of the stuff I believe is sort of uh, on the back end so I don't, don't want to show anything that I'm not supposed to be showing or whatnot um, and it sort of keeps it simple for me uh, this way doing a little bit I will send you the link once I list things so you see what I'm doing would be nice okay that's not bad i usually drink my coffee and tea straight now the tea for sure straight hey chicho great to catch another live stream hello james david sutton how are you doing is honey better? honey is way better than sugar way better than sugar whipped cream is a given whipped cream is a given nice so we're gonna go spawn number five we're gonna list it number six number seven number eight okay and what i'm gonna do actually i'm just gonna do a search for ebay too spawn number five because you can grab the titles uh, 1992 1998 1992 spawn number five todd mcfarlane todd mcfarlane so i'm just gonna grab todd's oh we can grab it from here Spawn number six is a first appearance of Overkill. Let's see. Spawn number six. Who is Overkill? We don't know. Well, it's the big guy. Uh, 1992. So we're going to go with that. And then 1992, 93. Todd McFarlane. Tea with milk is nice. Tea, uh, you know what? I X. How are you doing, X? Uh, I've never got. I try tea and milk with honey and stuff in the past, but I like straight up tea. I can't do the British style of tea and milk. I don't know if it's from Britain, but that's what I picture. Tea and milk. From a nutrient perspective, it is, but it's still very sweet. So, can spike insulin like sugar can. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try that. Yeah honey and it's got if you get unpasteurized honey and stuff uh you're getting uh what do you call it? lots of minerals and stuff too right first overkill we're gonna put in image image we're going what were the grades 
we're gonna go 9.2, 9.4. I'm just gonna put 9.4, 9.6. 9.4-9.6 is near mint. Okay, let me bring bring the grading down to just make sure we're getting all the da, 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 da. is that what we want? That's not what we want. Where's my grading page? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna go. Near mint, near mint plus. That's what we're rating it as. Near mint, near mint plus. Oh, we can't. We got too many words here. I'm just gonna put first overkill. First overkill image. We need to kill. Okay. And mint plus. Cool. Okay. Nineteen ninety five till now. Subtitle. UPC code. Condition. Oh, I should have just grabbed condition description we're just gonna go 9.4 9.6 now we're gonna upload the images eBay it's been a few weeks since I put on new listings so you guys have to bear with me for me to go through this Hey Chicho, hope all is well. Hello Sly Wolf, how are you doing? I actually don't stock processed sugar uh, cane juice anymore. I only use honey or uh, stevia leaf. Yeah, stevia leaf is pretty good. I, I I don't like the flavor too much myself, but it's it does give an okay taste to it, right? I prefer honey by a long shot. I definitely keep some leaves in my house, but there's not uh, stevia wink wink <laughs> maple syrup is good too but it's very sweet yeah and i heard maple syrup doesn't kick up your insulin level it it's not like honey and sugar it doesn't peak it it's gradual i'm going to go to the gym i'll see you later see you later Quinn. enjoy the gym um so do i have to rearrange these i have to rearrange these actually no we'll just keep them this way so we've got to do a rotation and then save it number eight and then next one rotation and then save it unfortunately ebay changed the way they load up images so you have to sort of it takes longer now oops wrong one go back no we want here Rotates, save. Save. Next, rotate, save. Next, rotate, save. Next, rotate, save. Okay. I'm just gonna constantly do do my thing and check on the the chat. Dates can also add sweetness. Have you ever tried sweetening food with the? Yeah, for sure. Uh, pastries mainly, but I there's a cooking thing that we have. Uh, uh, the cooking uh, stream that we did, Legendary Bob, where. I show I showed everyone uh, some of the power foods that I that I consume, and uh, and da 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 da, and uh, one of the ones we do is uh, dates, fried dates and eggs. 
so good. 9.6. Year series spawn. Publication date 1992-1993. Issue number number five to number eight. Oh, I gotta grab my info from other things. What we got listed. So let me grab this. Okay. I always forget how much of a pain in the rear end it is to list comic books on eBay. It's crazy. So what do we got here? We're gonna grab this. Nice. Spawn number five, six, seven, and number eight. Nineteen ninety-two. Todd McFarlane, first Overkill, Image Comics, Image Comics never been read hey what's the esther on red there's an s here i gotta get it uh, no there is no s oh yeah because it was on the other one have you ever had raw manuka honey yeah that just it's amazing and uh bee pollen is like what's it called manuka honey and uh, royal honey royal honey so good so good great so what were the grade number five is 9.4 9.6 great uh, number five 9.4, 9.6. Uh, how do we present this? Ch -ch -ch -ch. Number five, 9.4, number six. Number six, what's number six at? Number six, 9.4, 9.6. Actually, we're gonna go number four, number six. I think number seven I gave 9.2, 9.4, number eight is 9.6. So number five and number six, 9.4 are 9.4, 9.6. Number seven is 9.2, 9.4. And number eight is 9.6. Very nice books. Very nice books. See picks to the side. Grade for yourself. Da -da 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 -da. How were they graded? I graded these, um, Eduardo. I graded these Jelly Royale. Yes. I graded these uh, because there was a guy. Uh, one person that come, bought some books from me and uh, he was uh, he wanted to know if I had any other books and spawn one to eight was on his list and I graded them uh, at that time right and because he was living in New Zealand it, it was going to be too much for shipping including the other books that he bought so he grabbed spawn one to four and these ones he didn't grab so i'm just gonna list them right so let's see description of book spawn five six seven and eight 1992-1993 todd mcfarland first overkill image comics unread and oh this is story by alan moore so number eight story by alan moore i should have remembered that and Alan Moore. Who did the story for number seven? 
who did the store for? I think it's McFarland that did the store for number seven. Yeah. 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 Number six should be McFarland as well. Number five is McFarland. So we gotta say Alan Moore here as well. Todd McFarland and Alan Moore. Number eight. First overkill. Da -da 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 right. James Davidson. Chicho, what comics are you pulling reading at the moment? Oof. I've been adding uh, some other some new comics as well. Uh, one of them is Monstrous. Uh, Monstrous from Image, Com Image Comics. Fantastic. I've been picking up a lot of the True Believers from Marvel. So reading the one dollar reprint stuff. Those I like. I like the one dollar reprints from DC Comics. I've been buying a lot of uh, just one dollar comics really back issues sort of going into the one dollar bills bins and picking up comics from there so I'm reading a lot of randoms I just finished two uh, uh, the last two comics I read were crossed 100 and it was written by Alan Moore and I didn't like it I, I loved the artwork I loved the concept but I hated the way Alan Moore wrote the script where he's using uh, like he, the language has changed language changes over time right so the language has changed it's a hundred years since the pandemic hit i guess right for cross 100 and language has changed so instead of think they say skull instead of did you see they say opsy so there's a lot of these words that he's put in there to replace some of the words that we use to speak right so it's made it confusing it doesn't the text doesn't flow as good right you know alan moore we get it language has morphed has changed but we're not living during that period it's just it would be good if we if he emphasized that in a different kind of way not only he also teaches math and open discussions yeah I like math math is good is this channel dedicated to comic books uh, comic books not solely comic books a whole bunch of different things uh, math as Eduardo says math open discussions politics economics cooking we do lots of cooking okay what's the starting price for these um, four books spawn five to eight we're just gonna say 15 okay and the shipping for this is going to be expensive more on the expensive side it's going to be fifteen dollars at least fifteen dollars it's going to be more actually but i'll i'll eat the i'm i'm usually eating the shipping cost okay preview let's preview this spawn five six seven eight you know what i think in the in the description i think i'm gonna put alan moore's name instead of first overkill i'm just checking to make sure the listing looks okay very nice books oh i gotta change the description haha <laughs> okay so a couple of places i gotta pay attention and and then United States 15 Europe for this is at least going to be 25 other please contact yeah so we do that we do that uh, thinking of my start reading mon monstrous I have monstrous number one and two I'm gonna list amazing fantastic series highly recommend it speaking of more do you guys enjoy the Watchmen series yeah the show fantastic really good really good absolutely great show I can't wait for each episode to come out Alan Moore, let's see if this is gonna fit. 
we have any no zero characters left image okay should we preview again let's preview again oh my god it takes so long to list things on ebay i think once you start listing you just have to keep on going uh, that way you don't lose the momentum right very nice books i gotta change that okay i gotta change very nice books okay we'll close that we'll go up here okay very nice books nice books okay and list we list let's view it and i'll give you guys the link for it uh, as soon as i know it's okay okay spawn number five six seven and eight night i thought mcfarland on more number eight first over comments comments unread number eight is nine point six tracking combined shipping and dollar for each one additional book please wait for our final invoice good luck happy bidding i think that's okay so let me send you guys the link for this yay we got our first listing for today up right I heard complaints from some about the political overtone of the show so far is that a fair critique um yeah some some people might have a serious issue with it uh, but it's an elseworld story arc right so there's definitely brings in uh, some present day conflicts going on right now um so for sure some people are going to have serious issues with it hollywood uh, there's an agenda there like one of the you want political overtone mr robot like mr robot season one and two were fantastic number three started demonizing china and russia number uh, sorry number we're in number season four season three i can't remember this season it just went ballistic on demonizing russia and china in a big way and it brought in some political overtones that are crazy right makes watchmen seem benign yeah what uh, mr robot we're watching it i'm watching it just to see what they're gonna do i wish it was over like i'm only we're only three issue three episodes into this season and i'm like oof, exhausted already right you gotta put on a big filter on. i enjoy too i find the story of uh vet very yeah same here fantastic eh watchmen always have political overtones 100 percent. are you the modern version of bob ross i don't know i think i'm on the same period as bob ross right no bob ross uh he passed away unfortunately in, nine, in the 1990s uh he had cancer i believe um i like bob ross thank you for the comparison by the way greetings all Booker, I be broke. Booker, how are you doing? Better hotel with better Wi-Fi. Great success. Nice, nice. I heard the show was good. Mr. Robot lost me season two. I couldn't make it past Mr. Robot season one. Uh, I like Watchmen movie. Watchmen movie is fantastic. I'm a big fan of Damien Led Lindelof. Lindelof's work. Uh, so I want to see Watchmen sometime. I enjoyed the leftovers very much. And Lost. I still haven't seen Lost. You are the modern version because you are on Twitch. Oh, I guess so. But Bob Ross has a channel on Twitch. Unfortunately, uh, you know, it's all reruns, of course. So we got these listed. Let's grab more books. Should we put on Monstrous? Bob Ross. Should I? Uh, is Bob Ross that said you want to read Monstrous? No. Uh, James David Sutton. Should I list Monstrous? I've been holding off on listing Monstrous just because I know, I tell you the truth, like for me, I think Monstrous, uh, 
like I buy certain books for investment as well, right? Uh, because I want to support my hobby. Certain prices go up, you go up, you sell the comic books, and then you buy more comic books, right? So you're always trying to keep an eye out. If you see something that I bought some stuff that obviously hasn't gone up in price, but you try to buy some stuff that, you know, if it goes up in price, you can sell a little bit of it and stuff like this and whatnot. Uh, Monstrous, I think, has huge potential to. Oh yeah, these guys I want to put here. I didn't bring the listed stuff. Huge potential. If monstrous, I would love to see monstrous. Uh, like giving an giving an idea what monstrous is. Yeah, let me bring up the books. Here's monstrous number one. I hope I grab the first printings. Here's monstrous number one. Right. Let me bring this up. Yo, what's good, Ticho? Sleepy waves. How are you doing? I wonder when will someone ever try to put Sandman into me? I think they're talking about it. Do yourself a favor and only watch the first season of Lost. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. I've heard that it gets worse, right? So here's Monstrous number one, right? Fantastic. It, this this story arc is epic. It's on the level level of Lord of the Rings level of uh, many epic story arcs right here's monstrous number two okay monstrous number one was oversized now i don't know what these guys are going for uh these two for sure i want to list well not for sure i was trying to stay away from listing them but i think we'll list them just because it came up and i i want to list these as well just because I haven't listed these ones uh, yet. And Venom number four. Okay. Looks like Egyptian influence. Uh, yes. There are characters here that are, uh, there's, is there magic there's science in here there's folklore in here there's mythology in here uh, it's on the same level like as epic story arc school as sandman so monstrous we gotta sell ya we gotta list ya we gotta list ya let's see what grade you're at let's see what grade you're at I bought it just to let you know when monstrous one came out I bought like six or seven copies of it I have number one and number two framed on my wall in my living room you would have seen that if you've seen some of the other comic books uh, comic book videos okay you're gonna hear a little ding ding because I'm gonna take the phone out so first of all well we'll take pictures and then we'll grade it when we're flipping it okay So far, it looks like to be a beautiful copy. There might be a crease on the spine. Ah, grab the book. Let's take a look. Yeah, there's a crease there. There's one crease at the center. Is that the staple? It's an oversized book too. Like Yeah, I gotta take a picture of that. So I gotta get a reflection where we can see the crease. Mm -hmm. 
let's see. Oh, there it is. Come on, focus. Okay, that's cool. So that's monstrous number one. If I had to trade paperback, I would. Uh, uh, Dante, thank you for taking care of business. I wasn't paying attention to the chat. Uh, I wish. Uh, should I bring over the trade paperback and show you some of the artwork? I can go grab it. And I'm, I'm collecting the singles and reading the trades trade waiting just because it's uh, the story is so intricate it's uh so this thing had a crease on the spine here but even with that crease it'd still be a 9.4 easy 9.4 if it didn't have that crease it'd be like a 9.8 so i'm kicking it down two notches okay Chicho, I need some dating advice. I'm having a hard time letting go of someone who I uh, keep occasionally hooking up with. It's literally an attraction so strong that I'm probably I idolizing at this point. Sucks though, they truly are an amazing person. So you don't want to be with them because they don't want to be with you or you don't want to be with them. Is that the reason? I'm having a hard time letting go of someone so if they're so amazing why do you want to let go of them sleepy waves oh i gotta go get a pen too okay i gotta go get a pen and i'm gonna go grab the trade paper back for this and show you some of the artwork in this okay i'll be back yeah i don't have a pen here we need a pen Oops, sorry about that yeah let us know sleepy waves why So we're going to give this a 9.4, right? Let's put 9.4 there so I don't forget. 9.4. Okay. Let's put that guy there. And let me show you the artwork. They aren't interested in actually dating. Just... Uh, a every so often they like to go dancing or randomly hooking up so it's their choice right this is the trade paperback right here's some of the artwork so if they're not interested uh, you're torturing yourself right they might change their mind later on and by the way this is very graphic very brutal Okay.
like very violent. So my thing is, if you're dating someone, if you're still enjoying yourself, uh, fine and dandy, like uh, that's okay, right? If you're still enjoying yourself, but if you're finding that you're totally infatuated by them and you can't build any other type of relationship that is more meaningful to you, like if this is just a two week thing, then maybe ride it out. But if it's, it's something that's been dragging on for months or the power that be forbid years and you're having a hard time building a relationship with anyone else I would say uh, move on right uh, especially if they're not interested mm -hmm. just because you're not by being with them you're not allowing uh, giving the opportunity for someone else to enter your life in on that intimate level right one thing I use I probably said this before I use it as a uh, as a as an example you know people say oh because i've had people i've taught people have told me this before where oh Chicho, I, i'm seeing this person and we're intimate but we're not interested in going beyond the physical attraction and stuff like this da, da, da. they say this and they've been doing this for years some people right and then they say what well, they want something more meaningful in their life for me the example i use is look if you ate mcdonald's every day you would never be hungry but it's gonna kill you in the long run right I mean, in the short run even so it's not healthy for you it's not good for you so sometimes it's good to be starved of something wanting intimacy on such a level where you're open to explore instead of attack hanging on to something that could be amazing and it is amazing for what you're saying uh, but if it is amazing you know it's something that you're gonna have to figure out do you really are you really comfortable with i don't want to say use because you're also enjoying this whole thing as well but being used to satisfy someone's uh, physical needs if they want to they don't want to pursue anything further with you for me it really depends how intense it was right sorry if I'm blabbing I'm not really giving any more detailed advice than that but relationships are so difficult to give advice to the reason being is whoever you're giving advice to in regards to relationships that's only one side of the story of the relationship that you're seeing that you're hearing about right there's usually a lot more to the story than just that no that was really a reaffirming thank you to my pleasure sleepy waves let's take a look at this let's grade this let's see what we got oh this one's beautiful This is so far at least a 9.6, right? There's a little thing here, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, <laughs> this is a beautiful one. Okay, from the top, it would be like a 9.8. beautiful let's flip it let's flip it and take pictures and see the back
Oh, that's the shadow. <laughs> okay, let me move it over. The shadow of the light is hitting it, so it looks all wacko. Monstrous one and two. You're going up for sale. You're going up for sale. I'm gonna list these separately. We'll check the prices just to see how much they're selling for on eBay. Uh, okay. So this is nine point six, nine point eight. That's a beautiful book. Like there we say 10 I don't even know what a 10 is right what's a 10 9.6 9 9.8 okay let's put the phone up and list this guy too we do one or two books at a time. Okay, just because we don't know how long it's gonna take us to do all this. Let's see. So we want let's go over here, let's go over here, let's do monstrous number one. Oh yeah, did I send you guys the link for it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did, cool. I heard if you have something that high, just keep on sending it in to get the rated until it eventually gets a 10, <laughs> maybe. But that's, in the end, it's gonna cost you like a gazillion dollars, <laughs> Keegan, right? Like that's the kicker, right? I personally, you know, I love, uh, now that I started getting some graded comic books in my collection, oh, it's fantastic, it's graded, you don't have to worry about it, right? And it's protected and stuff like this. But it's a tricky thing. It's a tricky thing. Let's check this out. Oh my God, Monstrous is being listed huge, eh? Wow, the price has gone up on this. Has it? Oh, wow. Yeah, the price has kicked up. Last time, when I pulled these comics, when I pulled Monstrous out of, the, uh, out of my collection to list them on eBay to sell, right and that was a few months ago right at the beginning not beginning but probably uh spring of this year right we've been yeah probably spring of this year when i was checking monstrous uh the prices on it were like monstrous here let me sh let me uh hold on let me kill this advanced sir when i when i looked at how much monstrous number one was selling for it was around 25 dollars okay right now it looks like monstrous number one the second print is going for 83 dollars canadian uh, number one is going for i mean you see it just says high grade it's 42 bucks okay come on give me a good price there's 40 wow near mint best offer at 78 dollars so it's uh, gone up a f yeah it's gone up a fair bit it's doubled in price at least um, i 
yeah this thing's gone up in price that's good because it was going for way too cheap as far as I was concerned a few months ago for 25 bucks yeah options someone's saying here that's option but I don't think it's optioned they're lying they're lying yeah it's going from anywhere between 50 to 70 80 dollars right we're gonna let's do this we gotta list it first let's bring it in let's bring it in okay we're gonna kill that oh no i shouldn't have killed that pooper scooper pooper scooper okay let's bring that up and we're gonna list an item list an item monstrous number one just number one monstrous number one modern age comic books independent small press other superhero i don't even know what this is listed as let's see what do they list as that other modern age comics so let's go other modern age comics is it superhero no it's not superhero is it horror and science fiction it is definitely sci-fi fantasy let's go other comic books cool. so i'm just gonna grab some of the titles from here make it easier monstrous make sure it's 2015 i believe it's 2015. monstrous number one yeah 2015. so monstrous number one 2015. we definitely have to say first print just fill it in ourselves first print 2015 and then we're gonna grab the names uh, Marjorie Lou and Sana let's see if we could fit all the stuff on here Marjorie Lou Lou Sana Takada Unread Un Unread And it's 9.4, 9.6 um, What do we give it? 9.4? I think we give it a 9.4 But it should be almost a 9.6 Yeah, I'm going to give it a 9.4 I want whoever that gets it to be really happy with the price they paid near mint. Okay. I don't want them to question what it was. All right. It's at least a 9.4. Not certified, subtitle, no subtitle, condition, condition, description photos let's oh we've got to transfer the photos i forgot to transfer the photos <laughs> selling ebay monstrous monstrous cool. this thing Man, if it's option, if it gets option, it'd be amazing. It's crazy. Don't camera. There's monstrous and number one and two. Let's transfer the picks over. Let's 
move. In UK, it's going for around 50 pounds. So 50 pounds in Canadian dollars, what would that be? 50 pounds. Monstrous. How much would that be in US funds? It's a, it's an amazing book. Epic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, okay, I can't grab the last picture I grabbed, I took. Because that would be too many pictures. What's fifty pounds in metric? <laughs> 50 pound in US dollars. Here, we'll do a conversion. Let's go British pounds. Does it say British pounds? Or I think it's just pounds. No, EU, no. What the hell? UK. It should be British pounds. Why is the conversion not here? What the hell? Where is the conversion? Canadian dollar to US. British pounds to US. Oh, come on. GBD. Okay, okay, we'll do this. Okay, okay, we we'll do this. Okay, okay, we we'll do this. Just give me a conversion. Pounds, 50. Oh, 64 US dollars. So 50 pounds is 64 US dollars. Now we gotta rotate everything and save it. By the way, if you're looking for a crazy horror movie to watch, The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse, really? Oh, pound sterling. I didn't look at pound sterling. I don't know the lighthouse. Crazy horror movie was session nine. That was really scary. Like it made my hair stand out. It was like trippy scary. And rotate. Okay. Now we're gonna grab this. Oh, I gotta put image comics here too. Image comics. First print, 1995. Image. Image. And an off room. Yep. Unread. There we go. Oh yeah, we wanna grab this info. Pictures 9.4, 9.4, make character. 
No, I'm not gonna put main character. Series, monstrous. Monstrous. Issue number one. Publication, 2015. Yep, yep, yep. What do we got here? We got this, and then we're gonna grab the name, the description. And we're gonna bring it down here, and we're gonna go, oop. Paste it. Monstrous number one, first print, 2008, Image Comics. Image Comics, oversized, oversized. Marjorie, Rue, Lou, and unread copy. Unread copy. Okay, then we're gonna go 9.4, 9.4 near mint. Oops. Near. on spine on front spine near staple see picks the side grade herself small crease on front spine near staple very small book very very nice book near mint but up but up but up uh, shipping is going to be ten dollars United States and 20 Canada, United States, ten dollars. Europe is 20. Monstrous number one, first print, 2000 image commerce, oversized version. Uh, uh, red copy. I'm just gonna check the chat. It's surreal. I'm currently writing a fantasy novel about the world of elves. It's early days, but it's a cool experience so far. Awesome way it's awesome. Are they good elves or bad elves? I know some of the fantasy books. Uh, so this thing, we're going to start it off. Start off at 30. Okay. That's a steal. If it's optioned, this thing is going to go through the roof. Um, which I hope it does, uh, if it's optioned, right? I would love to see a uh, monstrous movie. Just imagine, just imagine. Monstrous number one, first print, 2015. Image, Marjorie Lou, Southern Canada, unread 9.4. Red copy. Very nice book. Small crease on front spine near staple. See pixels that are yourself. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. And we're gonna list item. Hey, what's missing? It looks like there's a problem with this listing. The item specified publisher is missing. Oh, did I miss a? There's oh, there it is. Publisher missing. Jeez, Louise. Image Comics. Okay. Make sure we got all the fields filled in. Okay, let's do it again. List item. Let's take a look. First print, 2000 image comment, margin, there's a uh, red copy.
So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna revise the listing. I'm gonna put 9.4 if not more. Because aside from that crease, if not more. If not higher, if not higher, because I doubt it if a little crease or a crease is gonna kick it down from a 9.8 down to a 9.4, but it is what it is. We wanna make sure people are happy. If not higher, cool. Okay, so that, oh, I should send you the link for it, eh? Let me send you the link for it. Here's monstrous number one. And then for sure, we're going to list monstrous number two. Okay. So we got that. We got that. We don't need. No, we do need that. We don't need that open. And uh, let's see. Oops. what we got to do now is list another book right so we're gonna list monstrous number oh yeah number two so what I want to do is just sell similar sell similar cool and this one's gonna be monstrous number two and this one we graded 9.6 9.8 first print 2015 i think it's 2015 number two as well uh, da, 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 da. Okay. wow the second print is going for insane amounts eh? yeah 2015 uh where are we first print 2000 emergency unread 9.6 9.8 9.8 and just to let you know i'll never grade anything as a 10 just because who knows how the person grading it was feeling when they were near mint plus mint oh we're missing not enough space in the description near mint mint Okay, we just go near mint plus, near mint plus mint. Okay, that's good enough. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta kill all these images. Serious? Okay, we gotta delete all these images and then load on the images for number two. see what monstrous number two is going for now what's monstrous number two going for monstrous number two monstrous number two is going for 20 plus right List number two for 20. I can't really find too many of them in the same. Difficult finding. Come on, get in there. Okay, save. We'll do it backwards. Up. 
パパラパパラララタタタラタタタラタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタ Most of the characters in this comic book series, the main characters, most of the characters, but a huge ton of the main characters, like 90% of the main characters are female. 90%, 90 of the main characters are female. Okay. Which I absolutely love.、Uh, it's, it's rare you come across such books, right? A beautiful series. I was really hesitant to list these, by the way, just because it's certain books you just go,、mm, no, I think I'll hold on to them for a little bit longer or forever. So we got. Okay, let's just copy this down. The issue number two. Monstrous number two. Image comics. This is 9.6, 9.8. Near mint plus, near mint, mint, if not higher. Not higher. And country origin, sort of a game, main character. We're not going to put main character. Da, 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 da. Let's just copy this. Paste. Okay, muster is number two. Image comics, 1995. Image comics. Marjorie Lou. And unread. Unread. Okay, 9.6 dash 9.8. Oh, I spelled near mint wrong and monstrous number one that we listed. I put MN, not NM. MN, geez, Louise. Because it just copied that, so I'm finding typos in it already. That's what happens. Not MN, but NM. Near Mint. Update listing. Okay, that's corrected. Okay, we can kill this guy. Boop. Near mint plus near mint mint. If not higher, very nice book. Let's call it a beautiful book. Beautiful book. We're gonna start this one off 20. Okay. Let's do a little preview. I like the Tiffany lamp. Thanks! <laughs> We actually have two of these. It's pretty. I like, I like Sha, Shan,、uh, what do you call it?、Uh, glass, stained glass. Hello, hello. Hope everyone's doing well. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? How's life? Let's do a little check. Monstrous number two, first print, 2015. Marjorie Lou, Sana Ganana, unread, 9.6, 9.8, near mint plus mint. Unread copy. Beautiful book. See pics for yourself. Never been read. Da, 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 da. Looks good, looks good. We list. 
list. Yeah, three listings so far. Yeah. I gotta get the the carnage stuff up. Okay, for sure. There's a couple of people that have been waiting for me to list some more books, books that I haven't listed before. So uh, it's long overdue. Uh, this looks good. Da -da. Yeah. Okay. So that looks good. Boop. Okay, we can stop that. We got that. We got that. Oh, I gotta send you the link. Here's the link for Monstrous Number Two. Did I send you a link already? I don't think I did. Here is Number Two. Oh, did I send it to you? No, I didn't. That was Number One, I think, or maybe it was Number Two. I don't know. You look like an older Serge Tankian. I, he, I think he's only he's one year older than me. I'm a younger one. <laughs> if Chicho had a dollar for every time he was compared to Star Trek, he'd be rich. I would have had an upgrade to the system for sure. <laughs> Doing well, man. Still working on getting those math in uh, math in check before my RCMP entrance exam next week. Nerves are through the roof, but that's how it is. That is how it is. That is how it is for sure. Uh, so let me adjust myself. Okay, these guys we can put over here because we listed these guys. So venom, let's do the venoms. When this came out, uh, I grabbed five copies of this and three copies of Venom number four. Okay, so I'm putting one set up to to be sold right so let's do venom number three first let's take pics of it okay you're gonna hear a little ding ding that's the phone being unplugged so i can take pictures and these should be beautiful copies by the way this should be beautiful copies so Let's do and they're usually you know if it's the older comics I'm uh rebag and boarding them but these are when did this come out 2017 I think I'll look it up to no 2018 uh, so here let's do check out the grade on it first oh what a beautiful book what a beautiful book like nothing down the spine. The cover looks amazing. The edges look phenomenal. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Oh, then we're losing the light. I can't believe we might only be listing like five comic books. Crazy. So little. Oh, I'm getting a reflection here, so there we go. Okay, let's get, we'll keep it under the lights. We'll at least get these guys pictured. I'll be listing more comics uh, next week definitely want to use up the 50 free we get per month doesn't look like uh, this month we're going to be able to do beautiful cover by the way it was a fantastic cover Spider-Man in the back. I forgot to take a picture of the spine sideways, didn't I? Let's do the 
front as well where we're taking a picture of the spine. Cool. So that's number one. Oh, I was going to look at the back just to make sure the back is okay. Let's do That light, natural light is, I find, one of the best ways to find. Oh, this is a beautiful book, man. This is 9.8. I would give this a 9.8. Really, what a beautiful book. Oh, yeah, this is a beautiful book. Nine point eight, it is. Four, four p.m. here, and you'd swear it's past nine. With how dark it is, one thing I don't like about winter right here. Yeah, it's crazy how fast. Like, I should have started the stream earlier. I sort of. What time is it? Yeah, it's two o'clock. It's gonna get dark. Like, the sun. Is, I can't believe the sun's actually over there, almost setting. I think we're only. We might get. You know this one graded as well oh i gotta put 9.8 okay that one we know it's 9.8 we'll put it on there after i take pictures of this as well i don't want to mess around with the lighting right let's see what the grade on this is There's a little crease here at the staple. We'll take a picture of that. If this crease wasn't here, this would be like 9.6, 9.8 so far. But with the crease, we're gonna just give it a 9.4 for now. We'll take a picture of it. Now let's see. Is it a cut or a crease? No, oh, it's a cut. Okay. So we're going to give it a... Okay, I don't know what we're going to give it. I think we're going to give it a 9.2. Or... No, it won't be a 9. But maybe a 9.2. I'm not going to give it a 9.4. If it's cut all the way through, then. Man, we're getting serious glare off this. Black covers are the hardest to take pictures of. So small, look at that thing. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if we can pick it up. <laughs> oh, there it is. Focus now. Yeah, it's not that staple either, it's so it was monstrous at the staple. I think this had three staples, doesn't it? Oh no, it doesn't. So I gotta take off the staple part of the monstrous. Okay, let me do a little edit on monstrous. Because I said staple, but it's not the staple. Did I say staple? No, it's not staple. I gotta take out near staple. That was silly of me putting it in there. 
I need to edit it now because if anyone bids on it, I won't be able to edit it. Small crease on front spine. Let's take out near staple. On front spine. Yeah, that's good enough. Update. Okay, cool. So, let's take a look at it. Small crease on front spine. Okay, so we already took a picture of that. Yeah, we did. And we're gonna flip this and take pictures of the back side of it. Oh, there it is. Uh, did we take pictures of the back side already? No, we didn't. We took pictures of the back side of the other one. Man, I'm not gonna get a chance. So let's check it out. Thor. Fantastic. Too bad about that little cut, eh? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to give it a 9.2. Kicks it down a notch. I mean, the cut is like, it's like one millimeter, two millimeters. <laughs> There's the tape part. Let's do this. Okay, so we got a 9.8 and a 9. So we got a 9, 9, 9, 9.2 for sure. It's going to be a 9.2. I can't see them. CGC grading does anything less than 9.2 considering how beautiful the rest of the book is so we're gonna go 9.2 9 point two okay that's venom number four and venom number three which is good if this one this one is the higher grade one it's the more expensive one by a long shot so 9.4 9 9.8 9.8 9.8 okay let's transfer the pics and fill in all the info you're gonna hear that beep, beep, beep. okay so we want to find venom number three venom number three venom number three Wow, this thing's gone up in price. When I pick these books out again in the spring to list them, Venom number three was selling for about 50 bucks. No, no, sorry, not 50 bucks, like $25 or so, $25, $30. First one that I see that's sold in the eBay sold listing here, let me give you this link. That way you can see it's like best offer on a 56. So let's assume it's 
whatever it is, right? Da, 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 da. Come on. Yeah, so there's one and 9.0 it sold for $40. Wow. Yeah, this thing's going for 60 plus. Wow, 9.8 CGC graded, 172 best offer gone. Um, wow, this thing's gone into fourth or fifth printing, eh? Okay, let's bring this up. Venom, Venom number three. Uh, what's it being listed? So near mint mine is a my comic shop is selling for like 75 bucks or so. Wow. Interesting to see it kick up. How many printings of this is there? Jeez. There's a lot of printings of this. So let me just go into the book thing. So we're gonna grab this. Venom Donny Gay's first appearance of Gall Marvel Gummy 2018. So we're gonna do a listing. List an item. Donning it. Superhero, other Spider Man. That's what we want. Spider Man. Yep. Okay, cool. We're just going to rearrange some of the thing. So, Venom. We don't want comic. Venom, number three. 2018 Marvel oops okay I gotta kill 2018 here Marvel Marvel comics oh, I'm running out of space okay so let's do this Marvel. Okay, we're not gonna put comics because we won't have ton room to put anything else. Donny Gates first print. First print. We're gonna move over. First print. First print. 2018 Marvel Comics Donny Gates first appearance. Call. 9.8 near mint mint near mint mint um. if I had space I put carnage in there too but we won't so oh yeah we gotta transfer the pictures over don't we let's transfer the pictures over We have Venom folder. Oh, we don't. Nice. So we're going to create a Venom folder. New folder. Venom. Book. And we're going to transfer the pics over. Oops. That's not what we want. We want this. There we go. <laughs> We're out of coffee. We're out of coffee. <coughs> Come on. 
rotate save rotate save I think next time we do this I'll show you guys uh, the pics a hey, one image didn't come through okay so oh, we'll get to it well It's a beautiful cover, by the way. Take a look. There. Nice shot, yeah. Oh, this is what I want. Take a look. Too much reflection, eh? Nice cover. Beautiful cover. This was sort of a no-brainer to grab uh, some extra copies of. I wish I'd grab more, to tell you the truth. You always wish you'd grab more. When you buy a comic for $5 and it goes up to 15 like a year. But you can't buy it all. You can't buy it all. As much as you would like, you can't buy it all. You can't buy it all. You got to do money management. Oh yeah, this guy, we're going to move up here. So which picture are we missing? I got to... Load on one more picture. It didn't bring it up. So we want this one. There we go. Move it. Rotate it. Save it. Cool. Okay, we got Marvel Comics Venom Grade 9.8. Near Mint. Mint. Beautiful book. Beautiful copy. Oh, did I put on red here? Oh, I don't have on red. How do we do this? Marvel. I'm going to take out. Let's see how much space we got. On red. Oh, yeah, it doesn't fit. So I'm going to take out Marvel in the top description. So I can put in on red. Because on red is important. On red. 9.8 near mint. Series Venom Venom Issue Number Three Publication Date Two Thousand and Eighteen um, Bum Bum Oh Publisher Marvel Comics Marvel Marvel Okay, now we're gonna grab. Let's grab the info from Monstrous number two and just change it up because everything else in the bottom is the same. And I'll put it there. Their editor's better now. eBay's editor's better. Their image loading thing is more problematic. Let's go paste. Venom number one, first print, 2018. Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics. Donny Gates. Gates. First appearance of raw. Unread copy. Nine point eight. Oops, near mint, if not higher. Beautiful book. See this, see that. That's that, that's that. And what are we going to start this off as? Okay. We're going to start off at least at 40, I think. Should we do 30? No. No, 
this thing has got to be at least 50 from what the going rate is but even less so That's a beautiful book one. Oh, no, da, 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 da. Okay, no, we're gonna go with 40. The low ball. Let's see where it goes. 40. Even 40 is good. That's okay. 40. Da, 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 da. So when I picked this up, when I was planning on listing it, at 9.4, 9.6 was selling for around 25. Now it's selling for 60 plus right i haven't bought anything from ebay in years here's the kicker with ebay the last set of comics that i sold like a month ago right some people bought it and then by the time they paid me ebay rolled in uh, their taxes for 13 new states so there was one person that bought some books from california by the time he ended up paying, he had to pay nine and a half percent more because eBay rolled in taxes, right? One person bought in Michigan, and by the time they ended up paying, they had to pay six and a half percent more, around six and a half percent more, right? Crazy. Chicho, have you ever seen the movie Lawnmower? Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> Lawnmower. It was a little corny, but it was brilliant at the time, right? Chicho selling himself short feels bad man i just it is what it is i just want to make sure people are happy i really when i buy comic books i get a great deal and i get exactly what i wanted and whatnot it feels good 9.8 near mint mints if not higher first appearance call call null unread copy everything looks good there looks good there looks good there looks good there that looks good list is that it yep we're gonna list list the comic And first press no on red 9.8 near mint mint. Okay, cool. So that's there. Here's the link for it. Currently watching a lawnmower man. It really reads in the remake. It looks corny nowadays, but I think that it has some division. Yeah, some vision. Yeah, it did. It did. And it was at the time when it came out. I saw it in the theater when it came out, right? So at the time when it came out, it was uh, it was brilliant. Okay, we're gonna sell similar. Let's sell Venom number four. Let's see what Venom number four is going for. I'll check on my comic shop to let's see Venom number four where are you oh it's not even don't even have any copies of Venom number four wow okay let's see how much Venom number four is going for 2018 origin of call I hate it when in the description of the video they don't list um, what grade the comic is you have to click on it to see the grade come on give me there it is oh someone give me a grade come on I want to click on your thing and go through your description Just put a grade on the title right nope no grades here Okay, I gotta put a date on here. 2000, number four. 
2018. We're grading it 9.2. Right, and I gotta make a little note that it's got a cut on it. Really, there's no. Oh, there we go. First breath. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. I just want to get an estimate, right? Of what we got. Okay. Number four, first print, 2018. I think it's better be 2018. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's not 2019. Yeah, 2018. Doop. Origin. Origin. Call unread. 9.2. Near mint minus. And okay, we gotta kill the images here. Come on. Oh, delete all. Are you sure you want to delete all photos? Yes. Add new photos. And we're gonna go here and here. Okay, venom number four. And we're gonna give it near mint minus nine point two. Da, 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 da. But I'm number four. First print to the more Donny Gates origin of origin of call unread unread copy to nine point two near mint minus beautiful book. Beautiful copy, except for copy, except for a small cut on the spine. Beautiful book, beautiful book, beautiful copy, beautiful copy, except for a small cut on spine. Let's make it all first. Make it all first letters capital, just because we're being consistent on spine. And I gotta rotate the pics. Seeing the lawnmower, seeing the lawnmower man on the big screen with film must have been a trip back. Indeed, it was. It was super fun. I saw it on VHS with bad quality Russian dub when I was a kid. <laughs> it had it had so much potential, right? It still that does have so much potential. Oh come on! Okay, I gotta work my way backwards from this. what I'm going to do for the eBay listings for next month I think I'm going to put the mermaid comics that we're listing maybe I'll do them one more time as solos individuals but I think next time I'm gonna uh, for December I'm gonna put them together as sets that we were saving a few listings so we can list more comic books um, Where's the coffee at? We're out of coffee. Ooh. Coffee is addictive. Save. Yep. No, don't capitalize every word. The first that uh, not every word, just the first letter of the word. You don't like that, Dante. 
<laughs> I'll take tell you what, I'll take it out for this one. Beautiful copy, except for small cut on spine. Here. This is the way I wrote it. What do you think, Dante? Should I put it small case? You tell me. <laughs> Should we make the C, E, S, C, and S small case? And leave the B capital? We do what you think we do. But I have to be consistent. I made everything else the first letter the same. <laughs> horrible, horrible. Yes. So for oh you okay, we do. C E S C S I'm gonna put the S there. P D G <laughs> Why? Never been read. I'm gonna keep the never been read the for the top things. Uh capital N capital B and capital R. Okay. Thank you. Feels good man. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna reduce that one too. So I'm gonna just for this i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this the way it is for future listings but for this one we do okay uh, this one because it's a nine nine point two we're going to start off at ten that's it origin of call let's do a preview preview Except for beautiful copy, except for a small cut on spine. See pics to decide great for yourself. Never been read. Unread copy. I think that's it. I think that looks good. It gets faster once you continue. Yeah, we won't be able to list anymore. It's too dark now. But let's list this one too. So we got five listings up. I know the people that were asking me, they were hoping for more listings this month, but nah, I just didn't get to it. Sorry. It just didn't happen. So here is this one. I think I'll get myself the Valve VR kit for Christmas. I see that VR will probably be a bigger thing uh, than smart ones were. Cyberpunk vision will come to life. And maybe our, I've tried the VR virtual reality game. Um, I had a friend, he just had it recently. I played it over summer and it was really cool while I was playing it, right? And I, in the past, the ones I've tried the virtual reality stuff, the VR stuff with the headsets, I used to get motion sickness, right? Right off the bat when you're playing the game. This one, I was okay while playing the game. But then when I removed it, I was playing for about 15, 20 minutes, let's say. When I removed it, all of a sudden the motion sickness hit me. And I was, I felt nauseous. Uh, it's still pretty yeah i felt nauseous the whole day until the next morning and this was in the afternoon like really it just made me whew, i had to i i had to do a little vap vap to <laughs> calm the motion sickness every decade there's a new innovation and a big hype but it never really takes off yeah I, for me it's not it's uh it's not gonna work. Uh, the serious motion sickness for me. Okay, serious motion sickness for me. Cool. We got 20 listings, gang, or 19, 20? What have we got? 19, we're gonna have 20 listings. So we got one, two, three, four, five listings up today. It is what it is, that's all I could get up. Uh, okay we try for more later we try for more later and tomorrow the listings I have like um, 
15 listings that I have they end tomorrow so I'm just going to renew them um, when they end tomorrow and then uh, towards the end of this week I think we're going to list more you need high HZ with headsets to keep motion sickness away but yeah it will really mess with your brain people who are hooked up in VR are telling that they wake up and during the first minute they don't know if that's a reality dream or VR really Oof. The, the, the problem is uh, all of these headsets I know I'm, it's going down a rabbit hole but all of these headsets all of these things that are being made are being made by unscrupulous corporations right really we really don't know what they're doing in those programs gaming in the past you could open world gaming you could run around the world and the billboards advertisements you saw were just people designing the game would make fun little advertisements and stuff like this and then slowly they start selling advertisement space on open world games right what are they going to do to vr stuff just join anybody here good with internet wi-fi uh so far it's i think we haven't had any problems yet uh void by the way hi i'll call us and most are 90 hertz valve 144 hertz theoretical maximum is 1000 hertz is it i play fps games with 240 hertz monitor makes a world of difference 100 to 250 hertz there's no difference even uh, shroud said it really 1000 hertz that's their limit on the vr or that's the limit of the displays if we're talking about the displays i don't know what you call them now visors i don't know stats we can kill that 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 and we're off to the races yeah cool so we had every month eBay gives you 50 free listings we had 15 more we could have listed okay so we left third of the free listings on the table unfortunately uh, could we list one more no I got too much shadow action happening on the on the table here I don't know if you guys can see it yeah you can see it there's too much shadow action happening so with the shadow stuff happening people think it's from the comic right so we'll hold off on it no way void shroud uh, is playing with 240 hertz monitor okay what's up with your wi-fi my wi-fi is okay i think console peasants were telling that people don't see over 30 hertz go watch linus tech tips last week video he sits with shroud and makes him play on 60 100 and 240 and he can't tell the difference between 100 and 240. Hmm. void hook lava lava there are like 10 videos of linus telling that 240 hertz actually makes you a better player i guess because the details are there right cool fun i gotta get back into gaming man me got to get back into gaming we do at some point we do at some point we do at some point okay we got these guys up that's good okay i'm happy with that i'm gonna close my ebay page how long we've been up i don't know what time i started i feel the difference between 144 and 240 and I was only programmer like 15 years ago it keeps disconnecting for like one minute every 10 uh, minutes ish I reset it did everything I never had those problems before been two days IRS like this 
and the difference is big programmer programmer uh, sorry void if the internet is uh, um, oh my god uptime is that our command oh it is two two hours and 15 minutes it took us two hours and 15 minutes to list it to do a little chit chat and list five comics five listings eh? Whew, a lot of work a lot of work okay gang um should we call the stream during my days crt was uh had 100 hertz and 120 hertz when everything went lcd and 60 hertz then was torture you're hardcore with gaming eh? by the way what do you guys think have you guys done any gaming on plasma screens what's people take on plasma screens i know they're not popular uh for one understand plasma screens they're horrendous for just computing because they burn the images on the from what i understand on the screen but what do people think of plasma screens when it comes to gaming does anybody play on plasma and they're ridiculously overpriced or they used to be so why does shroud say one thing at one point and another thing at another at a later point shroud it doesn't matter if it's plasma or lcd real hertz is most important not simulator hertz like most tvs are shroud is a sellout i don't like it adds latency to your controller plasma tv as late so it's there's a little delay oh I didn't know that. Cool. That's cool. Some are okay, I think, but monitors are my preference. Yeah, for me too. I I like just regular straight up. Mine is my monitor. I bought a long time ago. I bought it when I bought the system, which would be small. Small monitors is where it's at. Smaller, the better not the big ones I guess the big ones would have a more of a delay right smaller the processing is easier is that true void no would that make a difference most TVs that sell like 400 Hertz is actually simulated Hertz it tries to imagine the frames between real frames oh is that what it is that's cool that's good to know I don't even know what mine is my bought mine nine years ago now eight years ago eight years ago pretty sure yeah maybe not like forty thousand dollar tvs are there ones that are selling for 40 grand no void really i guess if you got the money to burn burn it on a <laughs> 400 hertz tv or a thousand hertz tv or whatever it is right let's look it up oh you know what let's read the description on uh hertz hertz is a derived unit of frequency in the international system of units and is defined as cycles cycles per second right cycles per second it is named after Heinrich Rudolf Hertz the first person to provide conclusive proof of the existence of electromagnetic waves Hertz also commonly expressed in multiples so kilohertz and all this terahertz and all that jazz cycles per second okay most monitors now list the response time and even if they're high it's still pretty low compared to tvs huh best gaming tv is 144 hertz oled screen with uh ginseng ginseng is great with nvidia gpu because it will sync your screen frame rate 
with your GPU uh, capability. Wow, I noticed a massive difference between 60 and 144 hertz for gaming. Hi, sorry for our off topic question. Do you know a statistical program or I will I would I would like will do a thesis. Um I believe I looked at R. It's open source online, right? Alicio? I looked at it, but I haven't messed around with too many statistical statistical programs. I haven't had the need to, right? If your screen works faster then your GPU capabilities, the screen starts to break because half a screen gets the information faster than the other half. Oh, snap. 60 to 144 is a huge difference. 144 to 200 is barely noticeable. So 60 to 144 would be 100 and almost 150% increase. 144 to 200 would only be about a 50% increase. So maybe that's the reason. I, I don't know the, the stats here. I'm just going with, or the the hardware. I'm just going with a little bit of mathematics. Yeah, 60, 60 versus 144 is massive. 144 to 240, not massive, but surely noticeable. So 144 to 240 would be about an 80% increase. I would blind, test tell 10 out of 10 telling what is 240 hertz i think he's uh, talking about limitations of the human eye ah exactly man your logic is right on spot chicho maybe i'm wrong i don't know what the limitations of the visual of our eyes are but irrelevant of what our eyes are what's uh, from what i understand i'm i'm new to this trying to figure out that this but from what, what i understand is the speed at which the information is coming being processed through the gpu transferred onto the monitor right so if one is going faster than the other one then there'll be a backlog and the system might 100 hertz is probably the real limitation 1000 hertz is probably the real limitation as much as we understand now cool can't the human eye only see 30 frames per second? I believe so because of the video editing, right? So it's not just about the eye seeing how fast the motion, right? It's about the processing, the information transferring from the computer to the to the monitor, right? If I'm understanding this conversation correctly. Uh, and yet for gaming, 60 frames is the minimum. Yeah. 1000 hertz is 1000 pictures per second and that 60 144 means the screen refreshes refreshes what's being displayed either 60 144 per second 30 hertz is pain for me <laughs> my head starts to hurt if i try to gain with 30 hertz really so it was one refresh per second and you were watching a video it would look like still pictures that changes every second yeah basically that's what it is and by the way here's one little tidbit i haven't done delve very deep into this but from what i understand when we recall movies or games or anything like this we don't recall motion we recall images and our brains process the motion between them right so our memories are only remembering images and we extrapolate the motion that's what i heard that's why reading comic books is so brilliant because and i've noticed this with myself when i read comic books there are certain things that uh, i remember and i can't remember if they were comic books i read or if there were movies or TV shows that I saw, right? And I find that extremely, uh, very cool. I think that's uh, brilliant, tell you the truth, right? Here's more of Monstrous. Should we take this picture, this thing down? Let's take this guy down, Doop. right? I got that. Let me find you some amazing stuff. Twitch. Up, cool. How are you doing? Motion sickness with VR comes with low hertz 
because it feels unnatural that is why more innovative movie makers are switching 3d movies from 24 frames to 600 frames per second uh -huh. here's and one thing with monstrous is amazing is at the back of every issue single issues and it's including trade paperbacks the cat uh, sort of people I forget what they're called they give you a history of this world right they tell you who some of the players are how some of the characters are and stuff it's brilliant chapter five this is the cover of issue number five right. looks awesome yeah I love this comic book man really great comic book fantastic storytelling sometimes you're completely lost in the story like and you sometimes you completely lost in the story you lose yourself in the story sometimes you're completely lost because you don't know what's going on and then you realize you find out what's going on like a couple of issues down you're like oh that's what's taking place beautiful art indeed to be honest the gaming scene is full of bro science macho like bodybuilding i wouldn't trust anyone trying to sell me a 240 hertz monitor is it word Roy says i like that it's uh like how you can tell uh what someone is tr uh, saying as long as the last three letters are right dude <laughs> <laughs> last two letters that was awesome i read that that was easier for me to read than regular words right dante whatever works for anyone but still this is not pseudo for me since i can truly see a lot of difference between them happy saturday happy saturday ninjar ninjar b first and last first and last as long as the first and last our brains put it together eh? that's cool the spelling nazis will freak out on that right what do you mean if you go 144 hertz to 240 hertz then at first you don't feel the difference as much but if you try to come back to 144 hertz then it feels bad ah that's one thing i've noticed with other things right you're fine at this level because you haven't upgraded yet once you upgrade you can't go back right it's like the saying once you know you cannot unknow right here's another one ignorance is bliss <laughs> right so i don't know okay gang should we call the stream let's call the stream we're gonna call the stream uh not update uptime a while ago but i got lost in the conversation information thank you for the education thank you for the education we like we like exactly okay gang next streams most likely next weekend okay okay guys thank you for the call call the company you too man you too thank you for being here dante thank you for taking care of business uh anybody that's seeing this that's been waiting for more comic books to be loaded on my apologies i didn't get to loading on more i'll load more on in december okay promise promise i'll try to get into the books i had a whole bunch here that i wanted to list but we ain't getting to them and if i get the chance i'll pull some other comic books out i had some comic books that i pulled out i was going to show you guys i showed you guys i was going to list but i looked at them and they were the couple of them were damaged so i wasn't going to list them their first appearances and stuff okay guys thank you for the quality stream chicho have been loved da, da, da. have fun you guys too great stream chicho enjoy the weekend you guys as well thanks for the stream my pleasure man my pleasure lonely piggy chicho enjoy your evening you guys as well man bye everyone hope you guys have a fantastic weekend